How you guys doing? Randy Richard in the shop. So this is uh, Wednesday before Christmas. And uh, I'm going to show you some stuff so I can show this on Christmas Day. This uh, video. This is about Christmas presents I made. And uh, so we... Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you, uh, or Machining YouTube, I should say, uh, not just on Facebook, but I had posted one of, uh, or a picture of uh, one of the plaques I made. But, uh, I, Merry Christmas to everybody, that's all I should say. Is, uh, thank you for everybody for supporting me this year, and uh, I'm very grateful, very grateful. And uh, just thank you for all everybody's support and subscribing really do appreciate it anyway uh, one of the projects was uh, making uh, some name blocks now these are about two and three quarters square cube uh, Western red cedar uh, blocks and uh, what I did is I carved people's names in them now, there's only six sides so it had to be six letters or less right so uh, I this is a practice one that I uh, use the X-Carve uh, to engrave the blocks on the sides so their names went around and some of them even got a little uh, little picture on them and things like that so we'll uh, we'll uh, show you some of that uh, you know carving this uh, I used a half inch 90 degree v-groove uh, router bit a quarter inch shank uh, router bit on them and uh, they came out they came out great and I stained them and I think uh, everybody was happy they were an idea kind of my wife's uh, she's we made them all for everybody who's coming to Christmas dinner and that's going to be their spot on the table uh, marker uh, their their little blocks so uh, I think I uh, everybody will like these and uh, have some fun with that uh, kids everybody so I, I can't remember how many made it probably maybe 15 or or so, uh, my, probably more than that. I, I don't remember uh, exactly, but uh, it was quite a few. So those were fun. I did the uh, let's see here, the name block, uh, the Seven Peaks Ranch plaque. Uh, I've been working on that for since oh, roughly June, actually, uh, as far as getting the design of the plaque down and what I wanted to do the. Uh, artwork on it the, the, the mountain profile and mountain profile was uh, it what it is is a view from their place uh, in Oregon uh, and uh, well maybe 90 miles or so from Don Cossett uh, actually but they they have a view of the mountains so uh, I took pantographic uh, photograph of, of the of the view there uh, this summer when we were there and I was able to uh, import those into uh, VCar Pro, and then I was able to have it trace the features of the photograph, and then I was able to turn so that was a now a, a vectored scale drawing type thing, and I was able then to edit that and get rid of all the crap <laughs> in there, all the stuff you don't want, and come up with a mountain profile. Uh, and I was able to uh, stitch it all together, so it's, uh, I mean, it covers, uh, I don't know, well, I, I have no idea. I don't know if it covers 100 miles, but it, it covers a lot uh, of mountains. Uh, they, their name is Seven Peaks Ranch because they can see the seven peaks, these seven peaks. And so then I named, put the names and their height, their elevations uh, on there on the plaque and uh, threw in the 1225 to 2015 a date on it and my logo so uh, I engraved that it's an aluminum uh, quarter inch thick uh, 4 by 18 plaque and uh, show you some of the machining I did on the plaque as far as surfacing it with a fly cutter I used uh, Don Cossett's fly cutter he sent me and I think worked awesome it was awesome to fly cut that I used uh, that's why I made these clamps for, so to help hold that piece on the table, these uh, the low-profile clamps. I mean, I, it took me a week to make those and and, uh, and everything. So, uh, uh, it's it, I mean, this has been a long-term project so, for me. Uh, that's really long. So, 
uh, I show you the, the engraving of it and how it came out and uh, and I filled the lettering in with uh, a black lacquer stick and uh, it, I was just uh, super super happy with it and uh, it just came out so awesome and uh, I mounted it on uh, wood uh, that I got got at the ranch there at uh, juniper and I that I cut up uh, myself uh, some I ran out of the firewood pile just like I made those picture frames that uh, uh, wood from their firewood pile, uh, the, the mount for it so you can set it on the desk, kind of like a name board on your desk, uh, or in the windowsill at their place, and uh, it'll be uh, just a, a neat, neat thing for them. Yeah. Well, at least we hope they like it. Uh, so that got shipped off already, obviously. Uh, my fly rod tube. Uh, uh, previous video, I made a new cap uh, for this uh, older fly rod tube, aluminum with brass ends that needed a cap. And uh, I made a new cap for it. And then uh, in the video here, I show I, I, I was able to polish the tube up some. I, mounted, I put that whole thing in the lathe and they gave it a little little buff and uh, just sanding and clean up. It, not like, I didn't try to put a high polish on it or anything. It's pretty, it's got some dents and dings and age. So I just kind of sanded and cleaned up the oxidation a bit buffed up the ends uh, but I engraved the, the cap uh, for uh, my fishing partner Mike and uh, it's kind of special the rod came the rod tube came from uh, our fi other fishing partner that passed away from cancer uh, uh, two years ago and uh, so I made a cap and I put my initials on it and I put uh, Ron uh, initials on it also the one who passed away so it's kind of special uh, meaning there. Uh, so I show you the engraving of the cap and, and stuff on that. I already showed you me making it in another video. Uh, I make a I made a quilt rack, a small one for hanging small quilts uh, for my daughter Hillary. Uh, she's the one who's the major you've seen in videos. <laughs> she's uh, also an artist. She's a very good artist. Uh, she uh, 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 I wanted a small quilt rack for Christmas or something, so uh, I made her a nice wood one out of maple. And I, I kind of had a little screw up, and I didn't quite get the brand uh, all right when I was branding it. So uh, I uh, made a nice brass plaque to cover the brand and, and, uh, and stuff. So uh, it, it came out. Uh, you know, very nice uh, little plaque. I engraved that on the X carve and uh, double stick taped that on there, and it, it came out good. So I'll show you that real quick. And uh, see, uh, and so I make uh, I made some uh, uh, more quilt patterns uh, out of the out of this time it was out of Lexan, eight inch Lexan uh, on the X carve. We carved them out. And, um, I didn't get that in this video. Uh, well, it might be in the video. <laughs> it's sitting there in front of me as I tape this, so it might make it in the video. Uh, I have to cut them out, so uh, we're we're I'm working on that. So anyway, uh, those are the Christmas presents I did uh, this year. Uh, maybe, like I said, uh, takes time, takes a lot of time. That's uh, what I do. So, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, Merry Christmas and. Uh, Thank you again, and hope everybody has a great holiday season, and uh, happy new year, and all that good stuff. Uh, uh, just grateful for everybody. Thank you. Okay, I got this uh, quarter inch by 18 by 18 
aluminum plate, 6061 uh, T6. Aluminum. And what I've done is I used the low profile clamps here to help clamp it down. I have six of them in there. And I have this uh, two by four across here as a strap to help uh, that center a little bit. But I tell you, pretty solid. Uh, I'm gonna fly cut four and an eighth inches here. I dial indicated the back in there. You can't see it, but it's on the other side. Dial that in to within a couple few thousands. And uh, we'll be happy with that. So I'm going to mill all the edges so it is nice and uh, squared up. And the edges, that way the edges are all nice. So I got my Don Cosset fly cutter in here. We'll set to sweep that whole area. We're going to spray that all with WD 40. And I think we're uh, ready to go. I mean, it sounds pretty good and uh, pretty flat. So. Uh, we just want to take off a little bit just to nicen up the surface. And then we'll see how this goes. All right, we're going to do another pass uh, so I have enough to get all the way off of the piece here. Poor planning. But that's okay. We're just, we're just taking off a few thousand, so. Plenty of WD. Couple inches to spare. Oh yeah, that's that's absolutely beautiful. Very nice milled finish. Uh, that's uh, kind of what I was looking for. I didn't want it to be a you know this perfect polished finish. I wanted to have uh, some texture a little bit to it, and that is just wonderful. Almost looks like a piece of wood, the, the reflection grain in there. Cutting it off, set a bandsaw on it. That way I'll have a nice straight edge. My bandsaw is a wood bandsaw. And I cut aluminum, but it's kind of a lot. Oh yeah, looks good. So I'm just showing you a little more of the setup with these clamps, how uh, they're completely below the surface here, clamping them. Um, clamping a little more than, more than half there, but here I'm, I'm only clamping uh, less than half, so uh, maybe a hundred thousandths uh, I'm biting onto. This one's right flush, and this one's down, but all I'm gonna do is mill in the end of it here just kind of squaring up the edges uh, and making them nice uh, but you can see how uh, how they're below the surface and you can so you can fly cut or literally right over the top of those and it does suck them down it sucks it down when you tighten it and it uh, works good that, that's just those clamps holding it you can't solid and then uh, I used Here's one of those little stand squares there, fit right there and to square it up to the table. That looks good. Now I'm going to flip it around to the other end. Then I'm going to set it up and I'm going to chamfer all that top edges. I'm putting a 45 degree chamfer all the way around.
So I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna knock off the bottom back corners. I like them square, uh, so I'll just knock them off with a file, and then uh, we're gonna engrave it. Came out very nice, very nice. So we decided to uh, fill in the engraving, and we're gonna we're going with black. Uh, kind of hard to show because it's so uh, shiny, but anyway, we're going with black. So this is a lacquer stick, and uh, just rub it in. Circular motion seems to be the best because it gets it in all the curves and everything. And I just do a little bit at a time. I try not to do too much at a time. Because it... You want it to dry, and I'm just taking a paper towel and I just wipe it off. Well, that is really, really nice. Uh, I hope that shows up well, but in the video. It's be a great Christmas present, I think. Uh, just uh, came out beautiful. Stands all done. We're just uh, getting some finish on it. There we go. The brand on there, and uh, this is a uh, juniper right off the ranch. Seven Peaks Ranch. We'll let that dry, then we'll mount the uh, plate on the plaque. We're gonna try this outside. Uh, a little morning sun, but came out beautiful. Just beautiful.
sewing machine. Well, there's two caps right there. They uh, both came out really nice. Uh, prototype one. It's, this one I made just a little bit longer. It looks a little better, I think. Uh, so, and it's got some weight to it. A little dirt on the inside. Anyway, came out really nice. And that's just a little scotch brite finish. Very happy with it. I cleaned up the end of the, buffed up the end of the tube. Both ends, that was threaded in and the base. And let's see how it goes on there. Just like it was made for it. Right on there, just absolutely perfect. In a close tolerance fit there on that counter bore. Man, that came out good. So, this is what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking, I'm going to give this to my fishing partner for a Christmas present. And I think I'm going to see if I can engrave his, engrave his name on here. I think that would be really, really cool. Just a slight slope. I think the diamond engrave will do it. He doesn't watch my videos anyway. So, I can tell you that on here. And so I'm thinking of, will diamond engrave it with his name? Uh, in the year, I think. We'll give it to him as a Christmas present. And he'll have a cap. He can uh, he can save this cap and use this one if he wants as a uh, as a cap, you know, beat around cap. So Plenty pretty. So the fly rod tube is done uh, for my friend Mike. And somebody was asking me about engraving on something round. Well, you can only engrave, um, you can't rotate at the same time with the X carve, uh, but you can engrave longitudinally with it. And this, th this is about an inch and a half tube. And boy, that came out really nice going lengthwise. Those uh, letters are only uh, 0.1 tall, but I could have went bigger. That came out good. I just left the Sharpie on there for now. And then cap. Uh, I put a little silicone uh, gasket in piece inside for sealing. Polish the tube. Cap's all engraved. Uh, with his name and uh, the two initials, uh, the one from my one friend that uh, passed away. Uh, that's where I got the tube from, and my initials and uh, 1225, 2015, the date. I think Mike's gonna like that. 
And that's what it says. It says the same thing here on the side. So I think you'll like that. And we'll give him the plastic cap if he wants to uh, carry it around with that. So I just wanted to show everybody and uh, show that you, you know, I mean, you can do stuff on the, on the round as long as you're, uh, uh, longitudinal with it and uh, came out actually very well and that's with the diamond engrave. All right you guys just a little update on the Christmas gifts. We even have Roscoe in the shop today. He's at daycare here <laughs> today. So he's being a good boy. It's raining outside and it's cold and he really doesn't like that so He's in the shop on a, playing on a towel, and he's as happy as can be and getting some rest. Nice plaque. Final touches on the Christmas present quilt rack for uh, my daughter Hillary, the major. So I uh, kind of screwed that uh, up on the branding there. So uh, I made her a plaque. Came out very nice. Uh, we're going to uh, put that on there. I uh, got some uh, really good double stick of stuff. I use uh, machining stuff uh, on the face plate sometimes. I gotta get it off. Okay, we got it started there. This stuff is really thin. screwed up well we'll see how it goes there we go we're going to push that down and we're going to put a cover it up put a weight on it There we go. We'll let that sit for a while.